class. So we talked about data import and export, right? And it's pretty simple to import the data or export the data. Fine. Now, apart from import export, there are certain other things or uh, there are certain uh, other mass data operations that you might want to do, like a mass delete of data. Right. So, what is mass delete of data? Mass delete of data is where we want to delete multiple records at one go. Let's say uh, there is a complete file that you have uploaded and you just want to delete all that, all those records, right? You have uploaded it by mistake or uh, those are duplicates and you want to delete those, right? So again, deleting one by one, as I said, creating records one by one is not the right option. Then again, deleting the records one by one, if I have, let's say, uh, uploaded 500 records and I realize that no, I need to delete all these things. This is not the right upload that happened. Or maybe if I have, you know, let's say a few duplicate records and I want to delete all those. So deleting records one by one is again not the right option. So what we do there is we go and do a mass delete of records. So how do we do the mass delete? Let's have a look. We go to setup, data management. Under data management, we have an option called mass delete of records. So there you go and you need to define whatever you want to delete. So let's say we want to delete accounts. So say mass delete accounts. Okay. Now it's from here it's very simple. If you just go and define the filter criteria here, which all records you want to delete. Let's say you want to delete all the records which were let's say which were created yesterday. You can put this filter and click on search. The moment you do a search, all the records which meet the criteria, whatever criteria you put here, all the records which meet, uh, meet that criteria will be displayed at the bottom. <clears throat> now from here you have the option of selecting all the records and click on delete. Fine. As simple as that. No. What happens when a record is deleted? In case you delete a record, what, what happens to it? Is it permanently deleted or does it go to recycle bin? In Salesforce, whatever data you delete is not permanently deleted. It is initially moved to the recycle bin. Okay? So even if I select all these records and delete it, it will be moved to recycle bin. <coughs> no matter you delete a, a single record or you delete you know, a list of records, it always gets moved to the recycle bin, okay. However, in case you want to permanently delete it, you have this option here. At the time of doing a mass delete, if you have, you know, quite sure that, okay, these records need to be removed, you can do a permanent delete. Okay, so permanent delete will not move it to the recycle bin. It will delete it permanently. Right. So that's about mass delete of records. Now as you can see here, you have the option of, uh, you know, uh, searching the records, the criteria and then you define whether you want to permanently delete the records or not. Right. Next thing, uh, when you delete some record, so basically what happens is some of the uh, data, we have the data here in that RDBMS format, right? 
RDBMS is a relational database management system. So here data is related to other data, right? So a lot of uh, you know relationships exist in our database, which is there in the backend. Let's say there is a connection between accounts and contacts. For example, we have seen that accounts and contacts are connected. We have also seen that accounts and opportunities are connected. Uh, leads and campaigns are connected. Accounts and cases are connected, right? So related data. <clears throat> so when you delete some data, it is not that data which only gets deleted. There can be some related data which also gets deleted, right? How does this relationship work? Uh, that is something that we will talk in our next section when we move into the data modeling section. There we will talk about relationships and you will understand which type of relation should exist so that the data does not get deleted or which type of relationship should be there so that the data also gets deleted, related data also gets deleted, right? So some data, for now, it will be good for us to understand that some of the data which is related to, let's say I'm deleting accounts, some data which is related to account will be deleted along with it without any question. Some, for some data, we have an option to retain it or delete it, right? So whenever you are doing a mass delete, it will give you what all data will be deleted by default and you will have a few options to choose. So these are the options where you have that, you know, scope of selecting what would you want to delete this or not, right? So it all depends on the kind of relationship uh, that it has, right? So once we are you have you know decided what you want to delete what you do not want to delete come and click on delete the moment you say delete it is deleted but uh, because i did not do a permanent delete it will be moved to the recycle bin okay so when this moved to the recycle bin let's say by mistake you deleted it and now you want to restore it back so no challenge at all it has been moved to the recycle bin let's go to the home tab under the home tab you will see the recycle bin okay so anytime you have deleted some data you want to restore it go to the home tab the recycle bin you will see all the data that you deleted is available here Select all these things and say undelete. The moment you do undelete, it will be restored back to the accounts object. So undelete it, again this data will be restored. Fine. So that is how our mass delete works. The next uh, concept here is a mass transfer. What is a mass transfer? Import, export, delete, uh, these things we all understand. What is this transfer concept? Transfer concept is, see, uh, if you guys have noticed, in Salesforce, every record has an owner. To, uh, you know uh, open any record in Salesforce you will see that there is a record owner for account there is an account owner you see if you go to contacts you will see that there are contact owners if you go to campaign you will see that there is a campaign owner right so we have account owner so every record basically has an owner right transfer of a record means changing the owner okay or transferring it from one record owner to the other record owner so that is a concept so let's say now uh, vijay is the owner of this record and i want to transfer it from vijay to let's say uh, srinivas 
So that is transfer of the record. So transferring single record.